Hey there guys, welcome to Canatech TV. Today I'm gonna to show you some of the shots that I've taken with the SX730 by Canon. So that is coming up. Taking this on a few vacations now, bunch of trips. It lends itself very well to trips like that and things like that because it's very compact. As you can see, it has the flip up screen. So it's awesome for taking selfies or setting it up on a tripod or something like that and still being able to see it. It's got a thread down on the bottom for your quarter inch tripod thread. So that's where you can put it on a gimbal or something like that and set it up on an actual tripod. So I've got a ton of use out of this. This is one of my favorite cameras right up there with my Canon SL2. So these are gonna be a bunch of pictures today that I've taken with this Canon SX730. This is a 20.3 megapixel camera. So without further ado, I'm gonna take you through some of the shots that I've got with this. So yeah, as you see here, all the stills that are shown are going to be 5188 by 3888 file size. So yeah, this was Myrtle Beach starting off. It was uh, kind of rainy and stuff when we first got there, and then it kind of cleared out, which was nice. So you can see some of these pictures here from the beach, and there's one of kind of like a portrait to see kind of with people close up. This was a cool one where the fog was kind of rolling through. The sky was kind of clearing up and, and stuff here, so I thought those were pretty neat. Uh, some people playing frisbee on the beach there you can kind of see and there was this little canal that flew through by this building here um, right here that you're seeing and this one was pretty cool I thought just the symmetry of the picture and stuff so um, we went to some shops and stuff and uh, again this is all Myrtle Beach right now you're seeing and there was like a pond out there and stuff where there's some birds so I was testing out the zoom you can see some of the shops like this popcorn stand and stuff um, framed this one for the Ferris wheel and there were tons of birds and stuff like that out by the water so took some pictures of them you can see kind of zoomed in what that looks like pretty good zoom and pretty crisp picture so I was very satisfied with that and how those came out uh, here was a carp that was actually in the pond you can kind of see that zoomed in this one here I'm gonna show you a zoomed in shot later from the actual hotel so um, I zoomed in really close on a sign and I'll show you that later to test that out. But this was medieval times, which was actually pretty cool. So we hadn't done this in a while. Um, this is somewhat low light conditions because you're in the dark in the crowd here. And, you know, they've got some of these people, the actors kind of illuminated. But you can kind of see there um, zooming in, you know, some of these shots are pretty crisp for for where we were at and stuff. We were like probably five, six rows deep. And, um, you know, this guy was like up on a balcony there you can see I'm going to zoom in on him in a little bit too but all these came out really nice there's that zoomed in shot so that's the power of the zoom of this camera you can see this one's pretty close up too and it's got good detail and everything um, you know this was just to set on some of the like stock settings and that I wasn't really screwing around too much with other modes and setting manual type settings and uh here was the taco stand kind of that we walked by, the pier, kind of where that uh, one Ferris wheel was. And it was kind of right off of this strip here, so you can kind of see that. This was the hotel pool, actually, um, when we first got there. A little statue out there in Myrtle Beach, too, kind of by where that pier was. And again, here's that hotel kind of zoomed out. Uh, again, some of the birds there and stuff. You know, you can see the colors really pop. And this was cool. This place was a restaurant we went to. They had some margaritas and stuff. They had these boats out here, so you can kind of see that. Um, so took a few pictures of, like, the drinks and stuff like that and close-ups. So you can see that here. And they had live music. It was really awesome, cool area. And I'm going to show you here the zoom. So this was the performer who was awesome. And I zoomed in a little bit from where we were. We were pretty far away. And then there's another shot zoomed in. And I think I have one more here, again, right there. So the zoom on this is great. Like, you can really get great shots and zoom in all the way here. You're not losing a ton of uh, focus or anything. This was a dog that was also far away. There's that fish again. But, uh, yeah, and then here's some more kind of outdoor shots. And some of the scenery you can see there, the Ferris wheel again. Um, this was coolest place, the Grumpy Monk in... Uh, in uh, Myrtle Beach there. If you ever go there, you should check that out. It's kind of on this strip in this town. I think it's Harbor Town, it's called. Um, but yeah, they have this lighthouse there. 
and this Ferris wheel that they kind of light up at night. But that Grumpy Monk had really funny uh, shirts and sayings on their glasses and stuff. You can pause that if you want to look at that. But this was across the water here. I thought this shot was pretty cool. And these came out pretty crisp too. So these were all nighttime shots. Um, you know, some of these maybe were getting a little bit like overexposed when you're looking at, you know, the, the lights and stuff like that. And, you know, there were some fireworks going off when we left there as well. Um, but again, these, these shots here, I thought were pretty cool of like the Ferris wheel at night. It kind of changed colors and everything. Um, that's one of those, uh, wonder, wonder works, I think, or something is what that's called with the upside down building. There's the Ripley aquarium. This was inside that, uh, grumpy monk again. And, uh, it was kind of cool. They had this little tap fountain there, but yeah, you can see uh, Jimmy Buffett's Margaritaville kind of zoomed out. Here's some of the sushi we had at that Grumpy Monk, which was pretty good. Uh, again, these carp were everywhere. There were tons and tons of carp in the waters around there and feeders and stuff. So they just kind of gathered everywhere around there and uh, you could walk around shop. They had these, you know, nice lit up areas and the uh, Ferris wheel like I've shown there. But yeah, so this is a lot of the nighttime footage you're seeing, but you're going to also see some of the daytime footage. I've got some other trips coming up. You're going to see the zoom a little bit, uh, some animals and more things like that. But this was cool. So this is all Myrtle Beach. So and then this album's going to be from a few trips. There's basically like two or three vacations in here that I'm going to be showing you. Um, this is from Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. There's going to be a couple other North Carolina trips as well. Um, here is some of the flowers outside. And yeah, some more of the outdoor stuff here. Again, there's a statue uh, that was outside of the pier area there. There were these cool chairs that you could go take pictures with at the one like beach bar. Um, some people fishing out here and stuff off of the pier. Again, here's some flowers in that. Again, so I told you I was going to zoom in. Um, coming up right after this, you're going to see where we were. So there's those pools down there. If we zoom in, this is how far I was able to zoom in. You can see that sign all the way down there. That is the same vantage point. So you can pause that and go back if you want, but that is how much you can zoom. And you, you won't be able to see probably a sign in that initial photo there. But I thought this was cool. There was a little tiki guy out there. Um, this is that stretch again there, kind of Myrtle Beach, right on the beach there, the boardwalk. Um, but yeah, then there's this uh, Ferris wheel over there that you can kind of see from all across there. Um, so again, this was more back on the beach. You can see the birds. This is a real close zoom in, and you can kind of see there without disturbing them how uh, close they will get. Here's another zoom. There's this building. This was in the background of that first picture. If you go back and look, see that flag? That is full zoom, but that is still, that's an insane amount of zoom. Um, you can pause that and go back and look if you want, but... Again, look at these these daytime photos. Look at how colorful that is, how crisp that is. Um, looking at the clarity and stuff, it's just amazing. Like when you're in the sunlight, especially, and you've got good exposure and stuff. Just these shots that you can get. Like here was from the room. Um, here were some of the other shops here. Still in Myrtle Beach. Again, this was from the room there. You can kind of see the whole vantage point. So now we're going to North Carolina. This is the art museum, the NC Art Museum in uh, Raleigh, North Carolina. So this was kind of at like sunset. You can see some of these pictures here and that. There's gonna be a some right before sunset and some like these where it's at sunset. So this was like zooming in, you know, the color's not the best cause it's not real bright. There wasn't a whole lot of light here. So this is a very good low light test. And you can kind of see then here, um, I was taking some of those photos. This was kind of how dark it was. You can see this bridge we were on. Um, there's some kind of outdoor art. There's kind of like a walking path there. So you can actually walk around. They've got all these outdoor structures and stuff. You can kind of see there, they've got those three rings and stuff out there. This was the bridge probably like 45 minutes earlier when it's actually light out. Um, so this was right before the sunset, kind of when we first got there and you can kind of see how cool this kind of looks here, looking at those again. And, um, but yeah, you can walk kind of on and off the grounds there. You can kind of go through. There's like a wooded area here. And you'll see some of those picture, pictures here. Uh, apparently a giant piece of corn. It's a weird statue. Um, phallic kind of. And then there was a beetle. Um, there was this statue that I took a picture of as well out there just on the hill. This was kind of going over that bridge just to take some of the traffic and stuff. Again, this was low light here taking a shot of that 
um, right before sunset you can kind of see the pictures there the tree the cool color on the flowers and stuff and here again is just kind of sunset scenery um, going through the woods trying to take some pictures there and stuff but yeah I ran into this guy so I took a couple pictures of him this was a kind of cool statue I like out there um, again I'm zooming in on these from pretty far away too so again the zoom capability is really cool you can kind of see these statues and stuff and you don't have to be right there again here's that statue on the right you can kind of see on the hill this was just very far away and uh, there it is again right there that kind of statue that's up there this is a really weird one someone's bottom laying on their side I don't know why that's art but here's this little path I thought this was kind of cool this might be a little bit overexposed in the top there I thought this one came out really nice this this uh, flower here the tulip and again you can kind of see more of the profile here as going for with the dark um, some of the flowers it's kind of more like springtime so some of this was like the first bloom so that's why you don't see a whole lot of leaves on the trees here and it's still a little bit kind of you know yellow and and stuff with the grass there and everything but but yeah I, th I like those pictures there and then so now this is going more towards the coast um, and at the beach in North Carolina so different setting now we're going to uh, went to the North Carolina Aquarium at Fort Fisher that's what you're seeing here um, and so it's basically at the beach so I took all these we went hiking uh, went to the aquarium so got a few different shots here this is a really cool like overlook on the one hike um, this is an aquarium picture you can kind of see here so they, there was a, a uh, lobster and uh, this was zoomed in on a bird that was on a plank there I thought it looked pretty cool but these aquarium ones are neat because you're gonna see all the different color and stuff and here's one of like a bee you can kind of see there as we were hiking but again there's that lobster zoomed in on him pretty good um, this was kayaking here just taking some pictures of um, a boat we passed here's some beach stuff this was a pond that we passed on the hike next one right here is gonna be some flowers and stuff and the kind of the wooded path that we were walking through it's just a picture of kind of like the car to give you like an object um, so here's fishing this is kind of cool it's blurred out in the foreground um, there's a flounder if you haven't seen a flounder before a really weird flat fish um, but yeah this gives you an idea of some of the color and stuff and the reef type things in the aquariums which is really cool um, there's like a horseshoe crab there so that one you can see got a little bit blurry with the movement um, but this was cool like another little pier outside some of the fish again here from the aquarium um, kind of some of the pine there it was kind of very sandy like walking around these trails because it was by the beach so it was weird because it was like you're going through pine trees and stuff but it was like sand all over the ground which was interesting and uh, here's some other like beach shots again this was kayaking so this was actually taken from a kayak um, so the stabilization is pretty good on that too actually and again here's some of the fish so I'll say taking them in the aquarium there was a little bit of difficulty with you know moving fish taking it through the glass sometimes it wasn't the easiest to focus but I think I got some pretty good shots from inside the aquarium and I really like this bird one too some of those I thought came out really nice as well um, but yeah this was just on the beach kind of taking some low shots of some of the rocks and stuff I thought this was really cool with the zoom the picture the turtles there um, there's that lobster there not zoomed in that's through glass uh, this kind of looks like from the Lion King or something um, here's one of the trails we were on so again there's here's some people shots there's kayaking you know from one kayak to another taking that again zoomed in on that bee and up close like perfect came out nice and crisp lionfish um, kayak out there in front of one of those nice homes um, getting artsy here taking a picture of the sky and the trees coming up through there um, there's that lionfish again so I, and I have a few of these shots you know taking some moving shots of fish with the Canon SX 730 I thought this one was really cool too I liked how this one came out um, and then again here's some of the clownfish in the reef aquarium there uh, they had a injured bald eagle that was permanently on display here as well in that outdoor area and again here's just some of the textures and stuff of the beach and kind of walking through the trail area here's some people that are out at the beach right there by that aquarium literally like five minutes down the road from the aquarium 
is like just a pri- or a public beach where people are actually swimming and stuff. So it's very unique, um, just the way it's set up. And here is, there's actually a dolphin there in the middle. If you pause that and go back and look, there's a dolphin peeking out of the water. Didn't get it quite all the way out. Um, but yeah, I thought some of these came out nice. There were some dart frogs here that I zoomed in on. Um, again, here's another kayaking one that's zoomed in pretty cr- clear and crisp. I really like how a lot of those ones out in the water came out, especially with the sunlight and like these ones here came out really, really nice. Um, this one was cool, zoomed in through the trees. Uh, there was an eel here from the aquarium. Another horseshoe crab. That one came out a little better than the last horseshoe crab. There's a lobster zoomed in again, getting it up in his face. Um, this was an island we kayaked out to, which was pretty cool, actually. This was a really cool view and overlook here that you can kind of see. And uh, you can see some ships going by, which I'll have in a little bit there. And again, this was kind of an overhead view. Some of the aquarium shots, which was pretty cool. Took another shot here of some of the frogs and you can see some of the clownfish again there. But yeah, so the daylight photos with this camera are amazing. I really like the colors. Um, you can see the color pop kind of here on this reef one. But the colors in the daytime and just the textures and details you get out of pictures is really amazing. Um, you know, not to say that it's not good in nighttime, but some of those pictures this one was background that I was focused on compared to the foreground but they just really pop and they just look really great really crisp and when you pair that with the zoom it's it's really awesome and you get some really good results with this camera so here's even low light that looks pretty cool like with the anemone the texture and everything um, and this was the one path going out there. I zoomed in on this grasshopper you can see, which came out pretty clear for zooming in and not disturbing it. You can see here was uh, some of the flowering trees that I took pictures of that were out there by the pier. And then uh, some of the other fish here again. You see that zoomed in. Some of the sharks here in the tank as well. And uh, again, here's a real bright one. I just like how the color pops kind of of that pine and the pine needles there. Again, this was the island that we kayaked out to, uh, Masonboro Island out there. You can see another kayaking picture there and uh, kind of see the contrast and the colors between the, the sunset and kind of the shadows there on the rocks. This is another zoom one. Look at this. So there's a boat, guys fishing. Zoom in a little bit. You see that. Can't make out who they are still. Zoom in again, and you can get all the way that close. So compared to that first picture, crazy amount of zoom. Um, just really cool how far you can really zoom with this for a camera this size and to not have to change out lenses and stuff. Like if you don't use a DSLR, it's amazing to be able to not have to take multiple lenses and have something that you can literally like put in your pocket if you really wanted to. Um, this was a couple people out there hanging out by the tree. Uh, that I thought that looked kind of cool. Again, some of the other reef shots as well as really zoomed in on that lobster picture. So it just shows you again some of the zoom you can get. Here was outside one of the hiking trails here again. And here was another little pathway. That looked really cool. That was a part of the reef that I thought just looked really nice because of the colors and popping. Um, one of the homes that was out there on the water, kind of on the waterway. There's a ray that's swimming by. Uh, they had like a ray tank and stuff. They had this shark tank here that you can kind of see. And again, here's some of the hiking and some of the stuff we saw out there with trees and that again this was zoomed in a little bit through glass taking a shark picture that one came out pretty clear I know some of them were kind of hard to take because it was going through the glass I don't know if it's the sensor and stuff and kind of messes up the feedback but sometimes it's pretty hard taking these through the glass that uh, lionfish one was pretty cool and came out nice and clear but this this was uh walking out along the cement pathway and uh out by the water there Here's another shot of zooming. So there is a ship, um, not full zoom, but just to give you an idea, kind of zooming in a little bit there, what you can get to. You're not really losing any quality. Um, that's zooming in on a squirrel right there in the middle. That was another one where, 
you know, if you really need to zoom in, if you like wildlife shots, this is great for taking wildlife shots and, and bird watching and things like that. Um, because you can really, really get a good zoom and really not lose much quality as you're doing that. Again, here's some of the reef stuff. You saw the the uh, other marine life there. There's another one of those like dart frogs, kind of in the terrarium. This was a zoom in on kind of this compass up on top of the uh, building over there, kind of where we were kayaking and out by the pier and everything. That was another one of those nice homes and more birds and stuff outside there. This is another cool zoom shot. There's a frog that was just chilling in this pond here. You can see zoomed in there a little bit and then zoomed in all the way. I thought this was a pretty cool picture. <laughs> um, again, some of the turtles there too in that pond at the aquarium uh, can really zoom in and get some good detail and, and good, nice, crisp picture quality. And uh, you know this, this one here, you can see the wind kind of ruffling the feathers of the bird there. There was an albino saltwater crocodile at the aquarium there, which was cool. Um, and then the seahorse there, you can see jellyfish that's a real jellyfish and uh and this is actually so this is carolina beach flaming amy's burritos go there if you're ever in the wilmington area or carolina beach area they got really good burritos there so then guys the end of this this is mostly new burn here so apparently pepsi was uh invented there there's this cool fountain that i took a picture of uh this u.s navy kind of statue here at this one park nearby you can kind of see the lush green that was downtown area there. This was a really cool picture. I really liked this with that little kind of clock tower. Um, there was a vertical one of it, but it's kind of the main intersection out there. Really cool small town feel, really nice area. Um, and then this was the Beer Army Burger Company that we stopped at. So yeah guys, I really, really love this camera. It's an awesome option for travel. When you can't bring your big DSLR, you don't wanna bring multiple lenses and things like that. The zoom on this thing is just awesome because you got a 20.3 megapixel camera with 40 times zoom, which is amazing. And it can be a great travel camera, lends itself very well to throwing on a tripod. And with that whip around screen, it makes it very easy to take pictures of yourself as well. So I would highly recommend this camera. As you can see, it takes pretty cool pictures from all the stuff that I just showed you. I'll put a link down here below in the description. If you purchase through there, it does actually help out my channel a little bit. So if you found this helpful, I'd appreciate that. I am gonna be doing some more of these camera reviews on here. I am planning on doing a full review of this camera and my experience with it as well. So if you're into that kind of stuff, I plan on doing a few more of these camera type reviews and camera videos. So I'd love for you to hit that subscribe button down there below. Thanks for watching with me today. You guys take care until the next one.